Welcome everyone to the DFW BIM Infrastructure User Group. So today I'm going to show you a simple uh, tip how to create ADA ramps in InfoWorks. There is no tool to create ADA ramps in uh, InfoWorks uh, as far as I know of. I've looked. Um, right now you just have to come up with your own ideas to create ramps. Either you do it in Civil 3D and bring it into InfoWorks. But what if you're designing and sketching in InfoWorks? What would you do? So let's go through that process. And I'm just going to show you a basic concept. I'm not following any kind of design standards, any city or county or um, you know, ADA um, Texas you know, accessibility standards that we use here. I'm just going to show you some basic concepts. So how would I handle this if I put a ramp right here at this location? So what I'm going to do here in this situation here is I'm going to uh, split uh, the uh, curb. Go ahead and do a split, and let's say I split it here, and then I'll split it again. And you can actually import some line work uh, from AutoCAD or Civil 3D into InfoWorks to give you some kind of line work to match. So, and I'll split it there. All right, and then I'll come in here and split this also to line it up. And also this one, this region, split, and then split the sidewalk, okay, and come over here and split this one also, Oop, I think I messed that one up, let me go back one, and split, there we go, and then I'm going to split it one more time. And maybe do it like uh, right here. And then split this one also one more time. Do it right there. Okay, so I split these regions all across here through here. Now I can come in and say, okay, this is my ramp. Looks like I may have missed uh, one more split uh, right there for the curb. All right, there we go. So this is gonna be our landing area. So we're gonna lower that location, uh, inner height, um, outer height. All right, so I wanna actually lower this curb right here. So the width, 0.6, slope, um, inner depth, outer, so I'm gonna say zero and zero for the height. All right, you see it got lowered. And then I'm gonna come over here and say transition in. It's already done it over here. And I'll come over here and say transition out. That way the curb is actually sloping down. Okay. Same thing here for the sidewalk here. I'm going to make it, um, we can give it the width or something, maybe an even four foot landing or something. And height of zero. So I'm flattening this out. That's what I'm doing is basically flattening this out here. And then I'm going to, um, all right, so I'm going to do my ramp here. I'm going to transition down here. So say transition out. There we go. And then this one will be a transition in. And you can kind of see it's it's creating a wet, uh, and same for the landing here, uh, this landscape area. I need to create a, a split through here. That way the grass is also transitioning with it. And over here, and then this is transitioning out. Okay, and let's see here. Let's change the pavement in here. For this section here, we're gonna use some kind of different pavement. Uh, we can do the sidewalk if we want. Uh, don't know which one it's using right now, So, but we'll do, we're gonna change our sidewalk um, to, let's do, uh, we'll do concrete sidewalk, click okay. All right, and then also for the sidewalk over here, this one would do a concrete sidewalk. So we'll go back and say sidewalk and uh, concrete sidewalk. Okay. 
you can see you know I have a ramp that's actually going up and we have our sidewalk over here that's transitioning down also this may have transitioned too far down oh I don't have the grass that's transitioning down here uh, let's say you transition out oh I didn't split it over here this grass and that's probably why uh, let's undo that transition for the grass now split it and now do a transition out and it's giving you some general ideas here um, how to uh, put a, a ramp in here so here I got a little ramp here um, I could have made this more smoother across this um, curb but this is more of a general idea you can change your slope now for this ramp um, change the height the slope value some of you don't want that slope it starts at uh, inner height at zero let's say outer height is zero inner height um, or you can change slope I can change the slope of this uh, through there. So this is just some general ideas of how to do a ADA ramp in InfoWorks. Hopefully you enjoyed the tip and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.